Hello dear students, welcome to your PDA. Today in this session, I am going to discuss one of the important question that was asked previously in 2018 in BARC interview. We all know that BARC interview is one of the very good interview. I won't say it is toughest. Why? Because in BARC interview, most of the questions are asked very basic questions and they will ask many cross questions. We are going to see how cross questions will be asked in BARC interview. Okay, so they will start with very basic, but uh, they will go in deep, in deep, how they will go in deep that also we are going to see by taking this simple question. What is this question? Even a simple RC network, just by looking at this circuit, electrical or electronic or instrumentation engineers will feel very happy that very simple question it is, but how they will go in deep, okay, how cross questions will be asked, we will see. We all know that Bark is one of the good interview, okay. So let's see. The question asked was is if if this circuit is excited with DC input of voltage V, can you draw voltage across uh, this capacitor? Can you draw voltage across this resistor? Can you draw current waveform? These waveforms he is asking. This was the first question asked, okay, to one of our student. This is the first question asked, okay. So now you start drawing, you start drawing. Yeah, while drawing, you will explain like this. While drawing, as yes, this is very simple circuit, we all know that we can draw it very easily. We can draw it very easily. Yes, voltage across capacitors. Yes, we, we know that capacitor does not allow sudden change in its voltage. Yes, capacitor does not allow sudden change in its voltage. Initially, capacitor behaves as short circuit. The word behaves is very important. Initially, capacitor behaves as short circuit. Therefore, voltage across capacitor is initially zero. Gradually, it rises like this. Finally, it will become voltage V. Finally, it will settle at uh, input voltage V. Okay. Now, by the moment you say, by the moment you say, capacitor does not allow sudden change in its voltage. Immediately, in rear will ask you why capacitor does not allow sudden change in its voltage. See. This is the input voltage V. This particular one is VC of T. I uh, need not to show. Okay. This blue color one is uh, VC of T voltage across capacitor which is rising gradually. The moment you say voltage across capacitor does not allow sudden changes or capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it, then immediately interviewer asks why it is so. Then many students will try to explain like this. Okay. Many students will try to explain like this. Sir, Vc of t is equal to 1 by c integral i of t dt. Yes, by taking this formula, sir, sudden means, sudden means, how, within how much time? Sudden means by default it is within 0 time. The integration limits are from where to where? 0 to 0. 0 to 0. Sir, you take, you are taking limits from 0 to 0 by because, we are taking limits from 0 to 0 by because, capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it sudden means 0 to 0 within 0 time any i of t you take any i of t i of t maybe any function you take uh, that integration from 0 to 0 will be 0 0 to 0 will be 0 so the point here is the point here is if you take any practical function i have to mention that word practical function practically existing function like uh, you take sign or you take some dc voltage okay some uh, anything you take some 5 volts 5, 5 amps you take 5 amps you take 5 dt integration is 5 into t but the limits are from 0 to 0 that will be 0 you take exponential whatever you take uh, whatever you take all practical ex uh, sources existing current sources uh, for that integration will be 0 for that integration will be 0 that's why voltage across capacitor will not change suddenly this is one way of explanation Another explanation is uh, IC of T is equal to C DVC of T by DT. DVC of T by DT. Yes. This DT, sudden change means what? Sudden change means uh, this DT will be tending towards 0. Why? I will write like this. I will further write like this. I will further write like this. So that that will be easy for you. So that that will be easy for you. Yes. Let me write further. Yeah, that is equal to C into V2 of T minus V1 of T by T2 minus T1. Our statement is capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across its terminals. Sudden change means uh, this T2 minus T1 will tend towards uh, 0. If that is tending towards 0, how much current you need 
infinite amperes of current is needed. So this way also we can explain. If it is required to change voltage across capacitor, yes, if it is required to change voltage across capacitor suddenly within zero time, how much amperes of current you need? Infinite amperes of current is required, which is practically not possible. This is one way of explanation. Another way, which is one of the most uh, intuitive way of uh, understanding about the capacitor and all these things is, see, basically, neither capacitor nor inductor, any energy storage element you take, any energy storage element you take, uh, energy will not change suddenly. Suppose uh, there is a fan which is rotating in your room. If you switch off the fan, does the fan will stop suddenly? No. Why fan will not stop suddenly? Why? Because the rotor body of the fan is storing some kinetic energy, some energy in the form of kinetic energy. For that energy to become equal to zero, it will take some time. Either to increase energy or to decrease energy, definitely it requires some time. That will not happen within zero time. So the global statement from physics, the global statement from, uh, from physics is, note, is, yes, is, just, uh, is energy will not change energy will not change suddenly yes you take any energy chemical mechanical water with energy thermal no energy in this world either increment or decrement both will not happen suddenly definitely it will take some time so no i can say no device or uh, no equipment uh, or no energy is exception from this statement. You take anything that has to follow this one. Okay. Now previously we saw if at all you want voltage across capacitor to change suddenly how many amperes of current we have to give? Infinite amperes of current which is not possible. Which is not possible. We will come back to that page again. Okay. Now we, we understood that. See uh, let me give you one more example. One person is running very fastly. If you ask him to, his, to stop suddenly, will he stop? No. He will take some time to stop. Why? Because his body already attained some velocity due to which he is storing some kinetic energy. To dissipate that kinetic energy, it will take some time. It will take some time. Okay. So energy will not change suddenly is the global statement, either from mechanical side or electrical side, any engineering. Yes. See, any device in this world has to satisfy this one any body i can say not device any system or body has to satisfy this one now come on here what is the energy of a capacitor yes energy of a capacitor is half c v square half half and c both are constants energy of a capacitor is directly proportional to v square now now you can understand one point here very well that Energy of a capacitor depends on voltage. Forget about the sudden change of voltage across capacitor. First point here is capacitor does not allow sudden change in its energy. Yes, let me write. Capacitor. Capacitor does not allow sudden change of sudden change in its in its energy capacitor does not allow sudden change in energy i told you from the previous statement that is energy will not change suddenly capacitor is not an exception capacitor inductor water maybe the uh, element that has to satisfy that one but fortunately or unfortunately capacitor energy is depending on voltage that's why voltage of a capacitor will not change suddenly this way beautifully you can explain to the interior beautifully you can explain to the interior okay Energy of a capacitor will not change suddenly, but uh, fortunately or unfortunately, voltage of cap capacitor, sorry, energy of capacitor is depending on voltage. That's why voltage across capacitor will not change suddenly. This is the final very good, beautiful explanation one has to give. Now, the crass question of the interior will be like this. If at all I need a sudden change of voltage across capacitor, what I have to do? You provide a current source which is able to give infinite amperes of current, then capacitor will allow sudden change of voltage across it. Is there any source available? Is there any source available which can provide infinite amount of current? Yes, there is a source which is practically does not exist. That is impulse source means come here. 
I'll, I'll take here. I'll take here. So, yeah, I'll take. I'll tell you here. Very simple. That is, come. Now, I want. I want sudden change of voltage across capacitor. 1 by c integral sudden means 0 to 0 i of t dt if this i of t is impulse del of t now vc of t is equal to 1 by c yes 1 by c integral 0 to 0 del of t dt we all know that this particular value is uh, how much ma 1 now what is capacitor voltage vc of t is equal to v by c sorry 1 by c not v by c yes 1 by c volts capacitor acquired a voltage of 1 by c within how much time within zero time but practically this impulse function is possible not possible let's uh, come back to the circuit what that is given by him many cross questions they'll ask many questions i can say just they will check whether you understood the concepts well or not you have that intuitive mind of approaching towards a problem or not those things will be checked in bark interview let me yes let me uh, draw the circuit let me draw the circuit yes now this is the circuit that is given by him yes now yes this circuit is excited with the uh, yes uh, an impulse voltage source not impulse current source ma yes they are very intelligent in asking questions bark interview panel yes now vc of t vc of t yes and i of t he will ask you to draw the waveforms of vc of t i of t and vr of t here i forgot to mention one thing that in the starting Sir, how you got this waveform? That is very basic waveform. Huh? This waveform, voltage across capacitor. How you got this waveform? You have to solve this circuit. How to solve this circuit, sir? Right, it's a KVL. You are going to get differential equation. That is very simple. I am not uh, going uh, into the circuit explanation. Why? Because we all know it's a very simple circuit. Or if at all you want, I am writing here minus V plus R into I of T plus uh, 1 by c integral i of t dt equals to 0 you solve this you solve this the integral differential equation you are going to get i of t now vc of t is equal to voltage across capacitor vc of t is equal to 1 by c integral i of t dt you do that that is one way another way is uh, go with laplace transforms that is very easy that is very easy see if uh, a circuit is containing energy storage elements and having lots of integrations and differentiations it is very convenient to go with laplace transforms either of those ways uh, you can do getting this vc of t expression is not a big deal you are going to get uh, yes uh, if you solve if you solve you are going to get vc of t expression like this yeah let me write here so vc of t you you'll get i of t is equal to v by r into e power minus t by rc you are going to get and vc of t you are going to get v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc so this value you are going to get if you do it okay that is very simple but yes but one thing you have to understand here is no straight question will be asked from the formulae okay they won't ask you to direct this uh, current expression or voltage expression they they'll ask you to sketch to draw this waveform while you are drawing this waveform why the waveform shape is like this only you will say that from the expression sir okay why the initial voltage across capacitor is zero why because uh, capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it suppose if initially the capacitor is having some voltage from that voltage onwards it will be gradually rising okay so plus v naught you are going to get plus v naught you are going to get if it is having initial voltage yeah this question was asked now all this analysis is uh, correct or this this uh, waveform is correct uh, if voltage across, initial voltage across capacity is zero suppose if the capacity is having some initial voltage of v naught then not from zero not from zero or let me draw that waveform also let me draw that waveform also this is t this is uh, vc of t if a uh, capacity is having initial voltage of uh, v naught yes uh, v naught then from there it rises from there it rises yeah this is the initial voltage v naught yes let me draw it once again 
from there it rises but finally it is going to settle to input voltage v finally it will it is going to settle to input voltage v only some people will misunderstand that uh, sir it is going to be beyond v no it is not going to be beyond v yes so this particular value is uh, v not that particular value is v not that is this is at time t is equal to zero this question also may be asked if it is having initial voltage of v not then can you sketch the waveform of voltage across capacitor yes we can sketch once you got a voltage across capacitor you can find any variable in this circuit how to get a voltage across resistor input voltage minus voltage across capacitor will give voltage across resistor simply kvl how to get the current if you solve this expression you are going to get current or uh, i have voltage across a resistor then how how to get the current divided by r will be current yes now initially capacitor behaves as a short circuit it is not allowing sudden change of voltage across it this this question also can be asked why capacitor has to behave as a short circuit because we all know that it will not allow sudden change of voltage if it is not allowing sudden change of voltage whatever maybe the voltage is there previously that has to continue if the voltage across capacitor initially is zero then the next voltage also should be zero zero voltage will be uh, zero voltage will be uh, represented with help of short circuit that's why initially capacitor behaves as short circuit okay at steady state capacitor behaves as open circuit why it is so at steady state capacitor behaves as open circuit then the cross question will be like this why is at steady state capacitor behaves as open circuit why because this capacitor will charge to source voltage now yeah let me discuss that let me discuss that point okay so this type of cross questions will be expected in bark interview especially yes so this is the capacitor let me go with the different color ma yes yes this is the capacitor resistor and this is the voltage source v and this is the capacitor now this is voltage v uh, suppose let me take some practical value let me take some practical values therefore i can explain easily this is 5 volts so initially this voltage is 0 0 volts now now observe now current is flowing because of that current it will come to 1 volt now the voltage difference is only 4 volts this voltage difference is previously 5 volts and after that only 4 volts because of that 4 volts difference some current is flowing some current is flowing because of that current it charged to 2 volts now the difference is only 3 volts finally it reaches to 4.9999 4.99 volts there how much is the voltage difference 0.01 volt now finally it reached to 5 volt now tell me how much is the voltage across this resistance that is 0 volt 0 volt means how much is the current that is flowing 0 capacitor is gradually charging therefore and finally it reaches to the source voltage value uh, how much is the potential difference zero there how much is the current flowing that is zero if current is flowing is equal to zero then that behavior of the circuit is said to be open circuit it is called as what open circuit okay so this explanation is very easy now come here now to charge this capacitor suddenly or uh, for the capacitor to acquire sudden energy what source we have to give impulse current source we learned from the previous analysis now if impulse voltage source is given what will happen this is the circuit this is a circuit yes let's analyze this one let's analyze this one okay this question was previously asked number of times in bark interview if you choose your favorite subject as either control systems or networks okay either control system, from from both sides it can be asked now now we know we know that del of t from from this uh, def, from the definition of uh, impulse ideal impulse is equal to infinity at uh, t equals to 0 and is equal to 0 at other than t is equal to 0 one thing is very clear that this source will exist only at t is equal to 0 after t is equal to 0 that source will die that source will die means uh, at t is equal to 0 this is the circuit at t is equal to 0 plus what does it mean by 0 plus just after t is equal to 0 or for t uh, let me write like this let me write like this that is that is the better thing that is the better thing for t greater than 0 the circuit will be this particular voltage source will be short circuited why because uh, that voltage source is impulse which will exist only at t is equal to 0 after t is equal to 0 that is not there not there means voltage is not there means voltage is zero zero voltage will be represented with a short circuit yes and this is the resistance now this is the capacitance this is the capacitance now 
yes c in farads this is r in ohms now we all understood that uh, the only source which is having the capacity to charge to charge capacitor within zero time is impulse but we learned that previously only impulse current source can charge the capacitor suddenly now impulse voltage source is given let's see what happens for that we have to do some mathematical analysis now let's write let's write uh, this circuit sorry let's write uh, this uh, circuit in s domain yes s domain then how much what is the what is the impulse of del of t one it is one or one one in s domain one r is r only yes r is r in ohms c will be one by cs c will be one by cs and this voltage across this one will be one by cs voltage across this one will be vc of s vc of s now let me write what is vc of s I want VC of S. What is VC of S? VC of S is equal to apply voltage division. What are the units of one by CS ohms? That is the greatest advantage of uh, S domain. Capacitor in time domain is farads. Inductor in time domain is Henry's. But the capacitor in frequency domain is one by CS. Uh, that is ohms. Inductor in S domain will be LS whose units are ohms. Uh, this is ohms. This is ohms. Uh, in this behaves as impedance. Yes. This this is ohms. This is ohms. I can apply voltage division very easily. Now one into one by CS by R plus one by CS. R plus one by CS. Now let's simplify this one. How much are we going to get? Uh, one by SCR plus one. Now one by if I take RC common S plus one by RC. S plus one by RC. Yes. S plus one by RC. Now VC of T is equal to 1 by rc into e power minus t by rc observe this beauty here that is within zero time the capacitor is charged to this voltage now at t is equal to zero what is the voltage vc of zero is equal to vc of zero is equal to 1 by rc volts capacitor charge to a voltage of 1 by rc within zero time why because the source given by us is impulse voltage source impulse voltage source now now let me take a new page and let me write there very clearly what is happening what is happening yes observe all of you here now at d is equal to 0 at d is equal to 0 this particular capacitor attained a voltage of uh, how much it is ma 1 by rc and this is the resistance at t is equal to 0 the current direction will be from source to capacitor I i'll show you what it is r in ohms c in farads this is the direction of the current v taken v taken now at t is equal to 0 the current is flowing from this uh, source the current is flowing from source to capacitor only at t is equal to zero after that current will flow from current will flow in reverse direction if you want you can find the expression for the current what is the current what is the current i is equal to c into d v c of t by dt what is v c of t we got i c of t is equal to c into that is a minus one by r c into e power minus t by r c the cc gone this is ic of t equal to minus 1 by r into e power minus t by rc amperes yes this is the voltage right we got voltage across capacitor voltage across capacitor is this one let me show you yeah yeah this is voltage across capacitor i think uh, minus 1 by r square c square see i is equal to c into no some mistake i did 1 by rc is there some mistake i did here yeah let me calculate it again okay just i i took uh, another expression yeah i is equal to yes c into d by dt of what is vc 1 by rc ma. 1 by rc into e power minus t by rc now derivative it i is equal to c into 1 by rc into minus 1 by rc you are going to get once you derivative it e power minus t by rc this this gone you are going to get i is equal to minus 1 by r square c into r square c into e power minus t by rc you see minus is there why because the current is flowing from capacitor to the resistor in this manner why because now the source is i can't i should not say it as source now capacitor is giving energy 
capacitor is giving energy. Why? Because that capacitor attained uh, a voltage of uh, 1 by RC into U power minus T by RC within zero time because of the impulse source that is connected to the circuit. Okay. So this way, many questions can be asked on this uh, concept. So I request all of you to think uh, intuitively. Means, uh, see why this is, why not this is. What happens if you if we replace this one with this one? What happens if I connect a uh, uh, step source? So like this, uh, questions will be asked. No fixed questions in Bark interview. They will check your approach towards the problem, whether you are able to think on your own or not. In the upcoming uh, uh, questions, we are going to discuss uh, this type of money questions. We have a pool of questions which are asked in Bark examination. We are going to discuss all those questions. Thank you.